So our last topic before we get to your questions, I, I wanted to touch on, as I said off the top of the show, the major indices. And uh, we have a chart on all the major indices here. And, and so let's start with, with the NASDAQ. And, and actually, before I get into that, let's discuss why it's important to understand the makeup of each index. So the NASDAQ, which we'll show a chart of now, that is made up of predominantly tech stocks. The NASDAQ 100 would be your largest tech stocks. But, you know, there are also pharmaceuticals in there and other names as well. But for the most part, this is your tech index. And you can see here how dominant the NASDAQ has been since the fall of 2022 and how dominant it has been in 2023. The NASDAQ is up somewhere in the vicinity of 23, 24% this year. So when investors call me and say things are going so badly, they're obviously not considering the NASDAQ. NASDAQ tends not to be one of the name or the index that they show on TV or they talk about most, though that index tends to be more the TSX or the Dow uh, that you see most of, or even the S&P 500. So let's go now to the next chart we have, which is the S&P 500. And the S&P 500 is your broad, broadest based index made up of 500 stocks, largest index really in North America. However, maybe it's not as broad based as we think, because as we know, 40% of this index are tech names. If you count information technology, then this is even a larger amount of the index. So you can see here with the NASDAQ up 23, 24%, S&P 500 up somewhere around 9%, 9, 10% for the year. Obviously tech stocks have definitely carried, as we discussed earlier in the show, the market breadth, tech stocks have carried this index higher. So if you want to, track how markets are doing, how uh, basically your portfolio is doing. What do you want to compare it to? I think you compare it to the S&P 500. It is the most broad-based index and the one that I compare and most money managers compare portfolios to. The next, uh, I guess, chart that we have is your S&P TSX. So your Toronto Stock Exchange. And you can see here uh, about just under 20,000, give or take. Uh, at the time when we took a picture of this chart, it's obviously changed since then. And TSX up about 3% year to date. And again, what is the TSX made of? Well, it's made up of bank stocks, which is its largest holding, oil, which is its second largest holding, and third, materials, gold in particular. And those three sectors make up 70 to 80% of the index. And all the other stocks make up just 20% your CN rails, your CP rails, your law of laws, your open text, your, you know, anything else that that uh, uh, is not a bank and oil or a mining company like gold companies, that gets fit into that last 20% or so. So it's no wonder that this index has not moved up as much. It doesn't have much tech in it. We own open text, is a software company here in Canada, Shopify, named that Many of you may know, especially if you have an online presence for your business. But other than those two main names, I'm hard pressed to find many more larger tech names. There are a bunch of smaller tech names, but nothing on uh, too large. So the TSX up about 3% for, for the year so far. Lastly, but not least, is our Dow Jones, which is flat. Dow Jones Industrial Average, 30 stocks make up the Dow. There is some tech there. There is some bank there. There's a, a mix of a few different sectors in the, the Dow Jones. And unfortunately, the Dow Jones is, number is, is broadcasted probably the most. And um, it probably has the least bearing on anyone's portfolio because it's only 30 stocks. So maybe someone has one or two names out of these 30 stocks, but not much more. So try not to focus too much on the Dow, even though that is the number or that is the index that is probably broadcast the most along with the TSX. So before you get nervous or get excited, depending on what's going on with the, the markets, with the indices in general, understand what it makes up these indices and where your stocks may fall under. Which index does your stock or do your stocks fall under? And I think if you're looking at the TSX, well, maybe you should be looking more broad-based at the S&P 500. If you're looking at the Dow, well, maybe you should be looking more broad-based at the S&P 500. And if you own a lot of tech names, you definitely should be looking at the NASDAQ.